Hey, um, sorry about the delay. I wasn't sure if it actually started recording yet. I wanted to come on and do an update and kind of tell everybody where I'm at and how things are going. A couple things I want to talk about today are just some of the um, experiences I've had with gastric bypass. Um, first of all, let's talk about vitamins. Um, you have to take vitamins after you have gastric bypass because your body does malabsorption, so you don't absorb as many vitamins as you normally would um, had you not had this procedure and you just ate, ate and absorbed regular food. Um, so you do have to take a lot of vitamins. So I actually brought my vitamins um, outside with me so I can show those to you guys. I'm actually in Dayton, Washington right now. I am house sitting and dog sitting for my sister. Um, let's see really quick here. Can't figure out how to turn the camera around, but this is copper. This copper, Bing, and my dog, and then my other dog, Oliver. We're just all down here hanging out, house sitting while my sister's away for some work stuff. Crazy busy stuff going on right now. I'm down here for the week and then I will drive home on Friday, um, meet up with my cousin on Friday get some more stuff together and then I leave town for two weeks for the Oregon coast um, with some friends little mini vacay my fiance will not be joining the mini vacay I guess more of a real vacay it's pretty long it's 11 days um, he's a long-haul truck driver I think I've mentioned that before so he's out working and then when we get when I get back from vacation he'll actually be home on home time which will be awesome because I haven't seen him in a hot minute. Um, he'll be here on home time and we're in the process of moving into a new house. So lots of work to do there to get that all up and ready to go. So um, as I mentioned in one of my previous updates, I am going to definitely try to vlog on my vacation if I can figure it out because I think it'll be fun. Um, so let's see. We're going to talk vitamins. We're going to talk hair. And we're going to talk weight because I realize I haven't actually said my weight on here. And I haven't done that because... Um, I have friends and family that watch this, and though they're all very supportive of me, some of them know what my numbers have been, many of them don't. Um, my fiance doesn't know my starting number, and he's really, <laughs> he's asked me several times. So, I know he'll watch this as soon as it goes up, because it pings his phone. Um, so here you go, Mike. <laughs> um... The heaviest I had ever been in my whole life was 397 pounds, so almost 400 pounds. That's a big number. Um, when I started the journey for gastric bypass, I was 388 pounds, I want to say. Um, and I have lost weight and gained weight and lost weight and gained weight, so no. Copper. Um, so... It's not like I just got up to 397, sat there forever, and never moved. I actually went from 397 all the way down to, at one point it was 299. So basically I'd lost 100 pounds. I've lost 100 pounds at a time, 70 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 40 pounds. Like it just, this is my life. And so gastric bypass, when I spoke to my surgeon about that, and we talked about all of the different diet plans and weight loss journeys I've been on and things like that. Um, he said it would be a really good fit for me because it definitely helps with um, maintaining weight loss. Um, so it's, it's, it's good to go into this if you know how to eat properly. You understand calories and where your proteins come from and carbs and all that stuff. So anyway, um, highest I've ever been, starting weight... As of this morning, I actually did a weigh-in this morning, which normally I only weigh in on Mondays, but I did a weigh-in this morning um, because I plan, sorry, it's very distracted by this woman walking down the street with her dog. Um, I did a weigh-in this morning because I planned on sharing that with you guys. So currently, as of today, I'm at 294 pounds. Two lender. Um, there's this thing in the weight loss community. It's called one lender, <laughs> one lender, <laughs> and it's essentially as soon as you hit 199 pounds, you're in one lender because your weight begins with a one. Um, so I decided, hey, two lender, because let me tell you, I have so wanted to get into this range. I've so wanted to see that number begin with a two, 
um, for more than just a second. Because like I said, I've gotten below, I've gotten to like 299, maybe even 298 one time, but it's literally like the kind of weight loss where it's like, ooh, today I'm 298, tomorrow I'm 300. Like it, it wasn't, there was no longevity to it. Um, I actually dropped down into the 299 range a couple few weeks ago. One thing you learn with weight loss surgery also, you go through stalls and I've been on a pretty good stall. Um, but I feel like it's starting to pick up and start moving again, which is fantastic. So those are my numbers. Now let's talk about vitamins. Um, one thing I would say I've definitely struggled with was the vitamin intake. When you first have surgery, um, the vitamins that you have to take have to be like chewable. Um, they don't suggest gummies because gummies after, I don't know if it's the same for a normal person, like I'm not a normal person. Okay, I'm not really a normal person. Um, I don't know if it's the same for a normal person, but after gastric bypass essentially, or sleeve, because you don't absorb things properly, you don't really absorb gummies properly. So it has to be a chewable vitamin. Um, so I really struggle with that because the bariatric chewables that I got were, I felt like I was chewing on like compacted straw and hay, it was disgusting. So I really, really, really struggle with my vitamins, but I'm on full foods now and I can take pills and everything else. And so I have, I take vitamins in a pill form. So, um, here's my pills that I take every single day. So the top one that is two calcium and a multivitamin. The next one is three. Um, it's biotin and some other stuff for hair and skin and then the green ones are iron The next two are more calcium and then I end my day with two calcium and a multivitamin um, You have to You can't take everything all at once You can't take iron with your calcium because then it causes the calcium not to absorb the right way You can't take all your calcium at the same time because your body only absorbs X number of um, milligrams per two hours um, and the multivitamin I honestly just split it up because that way I'm not taking two giant multivitamins and two calcium in the morning um, so those are my vitamins and I finally have gotten to a place where I'm taking them all and that has been a struggle um, directly after surgery also a struggle was getting my fluids in um, TMI but my pee was really 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 dark 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 almost brown yellow um, and now I am back to basically clear again whoop whoop um, I've always been a huge water drinker and I judge myself based off of my pee color mm -hmm. and so I've been real sad that I haven't been I'm always staring at the wrong spot guys I'm sorry um, I've been real sad that I haven't been achieving my pee goals pee goals um, hashtag pee goals um, but I'm getting there now so that's really fantastic the next thing that I'm working on is getting my protein in I actually just ordered some protein powder so that I can really up the amount of protein that I'm I'm getting in because last yesterday I only got like 22 grams in so I'm falling short in protein land which brings me to the next order of business that is my deaf dog that keeps barking so if you're wondering why I'm not correcting him it doesn't do anything um, so working on protein, um, the next order of topic here is hair and specifically hair loss. Let me tell you, hair loss is no joke. It definitely is occurring with me. Um, I only wash my hair every other day now because I'm just trying to be easy on it. Um, I've lost a significant amount of hair. I am grateful for the fact that I have curly hair and I have very thick hair. Well, had very thick hair. Um, basically with gastric bypass surgery, with sleeve surgery, with weight loss surgery, you're going to lose hair. Um, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to lose, it's like 15 to 20, maybe even 30% of your hair. Um, this will last for up to six months. Typically it's around three to four months. This has to do with the natural cycle of hair growth. It's like hair grows in two cycles. And basically when you have surgery, whatever hair was in the second cycle, which is the cycle right before it falls out and is replaced by different hair, whatever hair was in that cycle will essentially be the hair that you're gonna see the most lossage from, from the one to six months after surgery. Um, the good news is, as long as you don't have any other underlying health issues, things like that, it does grow back and it typically only lasts up to six months. And on average, it's really only three to four months. So there is good news to it. The best thing they say is take biotin because it helps with hair growth. Um, also 
try not to stress about it because really the reason your hair is losing the your body's losing the hair is the stress of the surgery um, your body goes through a stress from surgery it goes through a stress from rapid weight loss um, and then also you have to make sure your protein is up um, things like that there's a ton of research online which is really I, I researched it online. I really hope my hand hasn't been over the mic. Um, I researched it online and I had talked to my nutritionist as well as my surgeon about it as well. So yes, hair loss is definitely a thing right now. Um, so hopefully that will chill out some. Um, if not, might be going with a cute little haircut. You might be wondering, saying I take all of my vitamins, why my vitamin thing is full. Um, my vitamin thing is tomorrow's vitamin thing um i wanted you guys to see a full one so that you could see all of the vitamins that you have to take with bariatric surgery um so yeah that's really everything i had to update you guys on and um gonna try to vlog while i'm on vacation maybe it's some more fun stuff up here um again if you ever have any questions whatnot feel free to reach out to me um and until next time